Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Spiritual Banter because it's Thursday and that's just what we do on a Thursday. Anyway, today we are talking about how to hate your life. So today I'm going to walk you through three very specific steps that you have got to dial in if you want to hate your life. Number one, numero uno, make sure when you break up with someone and you're in that like grieving process that we all know so well when your heart just wants to like explode out of your chest and you just want to like curl up in a fetal position and like cry your eyes out, rather than processing that stuff right away, go on Facebook and stalk that person. Stalk them on Facebook 10 times a day, bare minimum, bare minimum. I mean, if we really want to like crank up the dial, go like 30, 40 times. But this is a proven way to make yourself feel like a bag of balls. For those high achievers out there, I know you guys are out there. I know you are. If that's not enough and you're still not feeling the maximum level of shittiness that you can possibly feel, make sure that you go and check out the photos that that person has been tagged in for the last like month or since you've broken up and then stalk those people and then obsess over how the hell they know that person. Obsess over it, obsess over it, obsess over it. Like think about it all day long and then do this across all platforms. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how we get maximum shittiness feeling capacity. Do Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever you want. Just like immerse yourself in the feeling of just like total stalkerism. It'll make you feel like crap. This should take you about two to three hours a day max. It's nothing, nothing crazy, but just really make sure you put in those hours because that will really make sure that you absolutely hate your life. Number two, make sure like scroll through Facebook and Instagram and really make sure that you compare yourself to every single person that you see on there. If you really want to dial it up on Instagram, research the hashtag thinspiration and thigh gap because that will for sure make you feel like a piece of garbage. Really like see how much of a difference there is between their life and yours and then just sit there with you know a glass of wine or some Ben and Jerry's and just 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 sit there and and cry or get mad or continue to scroll and continue to look for more people because the more you look, the worse you'll feel. And at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, is this not the goal? This is what I'm talking about. Really obsess over all of those people who are getting engaged and getting married and having babies and all that kind of stuff and keep asking yourself the question, why not me? Just really sink into that and really Put on that mask of playing a victim and just allow yourself to just wonder why your life is so shit. Yeah. Okay, the third thing that you've got to do to hate your life, always fear the future. No matter what decision you're going to make, really make sure you think about in detail every single thing that could go wrong if you make that decision. Whether it's a new career or leaving your job, whatever it is, what's the worst thing that can happen? Because that will probably happen because your life is just really shit. That is what we're going for, right? Am I right? Yes, okay. So if you follow these three steps to a T, I can ensure you 100% guarantee that you are on the path to hating your life. Until next time, we will see you later. Failure to follow these simple steps will result in pure happiness, overflowing joy, a constant state of bliss, and the chance of enlightenment.